A Brussels sprouts crop was decimated by aphids, so we decided it was time for them to go. But brassicas are heavy feeders, so we need to make sure that we replenish this bed properly. After you've cut down your plants, remove the mulch. Next, remove the plant roots. Make sure you use a levering motion when you take out roots to help save your back. After that, gather your supplies for replenishing the bed. You'll need soil, organic fertilizer, compost, mulch, seeds, and seedlings. First, I'm gonna to top up the bed with a bit of soil. Next, I'm going to add a bit of a layer of organic compost to my compost mix. I'm also going to add some organic life pellets. These are a slow release organic fertilizer just to help add a few extra minerals to the soil. It's also a good idea to add a bit of dolomite and rock dust. However, we already add this to our compost, so I've already added some into the bed with the compost. And now just mix that all in nicely with a good forking. I've now aerated, mixed and leveled my bed, and now it's time to plant my green manure crop. A green manure crop is a crop that you plant between heavy feeding crops to improve the soil. So for my green manure crop, I've got some oats, and oats are really good at improving the soil structure. I've got some woolly pod vetch, and woolly pod vetch is a legume, so it fixes the nitrogen of the soil. I've also got some extra cowpea seeds that I had left over, and I'm gonna chuck some of those in. They're a legume as well, so more nitrogen fixation. And I've also got here some marigold seedlings, and marigolds help repel root knot nematodes. So by digging these in afterwards, I'm gonna help my soil be nematode repellent and that will help if I plant things like tomatoes or squash in the bed afterwards. Make sure you read your seed packet about how deep your seeds want to be planted. My oats, they want to be planted at five centimeter depth. So to do that, I'm gonna plant them in a few rows. And now you just sprinkle the appropriate amount of seed onto your bed. And now just give that a light forking in. Next up, I've got my woolly pod bench. These like to be planted at a depth of four to six millimeters, so I'm just gonna broadcast the seeds and lightly break them in. However, they come with an inoculant. This inoculant helps them germinate, and so I need to mix up the seeds with the inoculant before I plant them. I like to wet the seeds by pouring them onto a damp rag or cloth and then just wetting them slightly by moving the damp cloth on top of them. Pour the required amount of inoculant into a container and then transfer your woolly vetch seeds into that container. Give your container a good shake so that the inoculant gets onto all the seeds. Once, once all your seeds look coated with inoculant, it's time to plant them. And I'm also gonna throw in some of these cowpea seeds. And now it's time to lightly rake that in. Lastly, it's time to plant some of these marigold seedlings. Now all the bed needs is some mulch and a good watering in.
In six to eight weeks, your green manure crop will be ready to chop down. You can either chop it down and leave it as mulch, or chop it down and dig it into the soil, in which case you'll have to wait another four weeks or so until you plant your crop. You'll know when they're ready to chop down when the plants are just about to flower. You don't want to let them flower because then they'll start taking the nutrients up for themselves. You want them to leave it down in the soil for you.